making go-to information available at just a glance, and introducing a remarkable innovation that is both hardware and software, and something in between. The Dynamic Island. An interactive place that bubbles up alerts, notifications, and activities, fluidly transforming itself as needed. It's an entirely new way to experience iPhone. You are now looking at the most impressive iPhone camera system yet. In a major leap, the iPhone 14 Pro's main camera has a 48 megapixel quad pixel sensor. It captures breathtaking detail, depth, and color, and now gives you the equivalent of four pro lenses at the ready. With every photo, the quad pixel sensor captures four times more information than ever before. Then, the A16 Bionic, powering the new photonic engine, analyzes and perfects every pixel with up to four trillion operations, achieving an astonishing new level of sharpness and detail. And now, pro photographers will be able to capture an uncompressed 48 megapixel pro raw image, giving you even more resolution to rescale, retouch, and reimagine your photos. That was perfect. Let's go again. Building off iPhone's leap ahead in ProRes and Dolby Vision video technology. Action. iPhone 14 Pro now includes new action mode, allowing gimbal like stabilization for all your action scenes and cinematic mode will be even more powerful for pro filmmakers with 4K resolution and 24 frames per second recording. iPhone 14 Pro is capable of shots that for most film cameras are simply impossible. You can rely on your iPhone every day and now it can even help in emergency situations. For the first time, iPhone 14 Pro will be able to communicate with satellites around the camera and the true depth sensor. So you kind of get a hybrid of notifications and live widgets right on the screen at all times. You can see here, I just started playing some music. I swipe up, the music player goes straight into the dynamic island. I can add a timer. The timer also goes in the dynamic island. Now I can quickly jump into either of those apps or quickly control either of those apps directly from the island. You can also do things like start a voice memo, see those controls right in the dynamic island. Apple says third-party apps will be able to use the dynamic island. It will also play nice with the new live activity widgets in iOS 16. So all kinds of things in your phone are gonna be updating dynamically way more often. What's the move?